Hello everyone. Welcome to the problem solving session. This is the problem from circular motion. In this problem, say that a cat rides a merry-go-round turning with a uniform circular motion. At time t equal 2 second, the cat velocity is 3i plus 4j measured on a horizontal xy coordinate system and time t equal to 5 second the cat's velocity is minus 3i minus 4j head so now we have to find out the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration of the cat and second question we have to also calculate the average acceleration during the time interval t2 and t1 which is less than actually one period let's start so it's given that uh, if we write say that the velocity I'm sorry the velocity of this cat at t equal two second its velocity is 3i plus 4j and t2 equal to 5 second v is minus 3i minus 4j head which means if we draw a circular motion then we can exactly draw this position of this cat if we write say say consider at t equal to two second the cat position is over here then this is would be my velocity towards that direction so if we consider say this is our positive y direction and say this is our positive x direction right so this is be actually the velocity of that cat at equal to two second and t equal to five second which is exactly opposite of this velocity right so then we can say that it would be over here say i should try it. This is at I'm going to use different color say this is actually at t equal two second you can write t1 and this is actually at t2 equal five second right then what is the time difference between these two times which is t2 minus t1 is going to the 5 minus 2 actually that 3 second that's mean is takes the 3 second come from here to here the cat is take which is actually the half of this circle so to make the complete rotation so which is actually the time period then we can say that the time period would be basically double of this it will be the 2 into 3 difference of t1 t2 minus t1 which is going to the 6 second fine so this is actually the time period of that cat for this merry-go-round now we have to find out that magnitude of the centripetal acceleration that's we know that uh, for that uniform circular motion where the speed is constant we write the centripetal acceleration is v square over r right so this is actually the magnitude now the velocity of this cat around this merry-go-round is fixed sorry speed is fixed basically velocity is 4 i head plus sorry 3 i head plus 4 j head then we can say that magnitude of this one velocity which is to be the speed basically is going to be that 3 square plus 4 square that should be basically that 5 
meter per second which is the speed fine now I have to find out that R to find out that R we can define in the way so that velocity would be basically total displacement divided by total time right so what would be the total displacement say if the radius of this circle say that the radius of this circle is basically that r then we can write it should be twice pi r divided by t right so this would be that speed now we can find out that r from there so what would be that r r would be velocity time speed time divided by twice pi we know this parameter v is 5 t is 6 2 into 3.14 if you solve you'll find out that r would be in that case would be 4.77 meter so this is my r now we can find out that centripetal acceleration so centripetal acceleration which is v square over r so v is 5 square divided by 4.77 that will give me actually 5.24 meter per second square so your centripetal acceleration for this one it should be 5.24 meter per second square this is be the magnitude of this centripetal acceleration and it would be always towards that center if they ask the direction so this is the answer of question number one or question number a you can say that fine now in the question number b we have to find out that average acceleration during the time intervals t2 minus t1 which is less than one period actually yes one because we find out t2 minus t1 actually the three second in that case is uh, makes a half of this rotation right the so for complete oscillation it will take that six second actually so that's why you say that which is less than one time period fine so if we want to find out that average acceleration we know that that average acceleration formula actually we write down in a form which is say that v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1 so v2 actually that velocity at time t2 and v1 actually that velocity at time t1 we know that's one right at t2 time the velocity is 3 minus 3i minus 4j and t1 actually 3 plus 3i head plus 4j head so we are going to plug in that field over here so we'll write in that case it should be v2 would be min, uh, minus 3i minus 3i minus 4j minus this is the minus for formula which would be v1 which is 3i plus 3i plus 4j divided by say 5 minus 2 so that should be actually if we do that do that calculation is to the minus 3 minus 3i three which is a 6i minus 8j head sorry this will be the j head this is a b j head i'm sorry this is a b j head this is a b j head this is 4j so this a would be over here Everest acceleration, we can find out Everest acceleration would be over here. V2 actually that velocity at time T2 and 
v1 actually the velocity at time t1 which is we know that one right which is given over here so at t2 the velocity is minus 3i minus 4j at t1 which is actually the two second uh, velocity is 3i hat plus 4j hat now i'm going to plug in this value over here so it should be minus 3i hat minus 3i hat minus 4j hat minus the velocity at time t2 which is plus 3i hat plus 4j hat right divided by 5 minus 2 so that will give me minus 6i hat minus 8j hat divided by 3 so if you solve then you will find out that this would be minus 2 i hat minus 2.66 j hat so this is would be the average acceleration of the cat during this time interval so this is actually the answer of the question number b thank you very much